This video was produced by Lion Total Care, dedicated to keeping you safer longer. Chapter 3 Advanced Inspection Turnouts Part 2 Liner System Examine the liner system. Lay the liner flat on your work area. Check protective wristlets for shrinkage, excessive stretching, and physical damage. Pull at the sides to see if there is sufficient elasticity. If the wristlets have thumb holes, check them as well. Examine the seams that attach the wristlets to your liner system. Look for missing or broken stitches. Check seam integrity by grasping material on both sides of the seam. Pull them in opposite directions while looking for weaknesses as you work your way around the sleeve. Damaged or improperly functioning wristlets should be marked on the inspection form and repaired before returning the garment to service. Examine the face cloth of your thermal liner and substrate of your moisture barrier. Turn the sleeves and legs inside out so the face cloth of the thermal liner is on the outside. Inspect all seams looking for broken or missing stitches. Check each seam's integrity by grasping material on both sides of the seam and pulling in opposite directions. As you pull, look for weak areas where the seam separates and opens. Note the location of the weak areas on your inspection form. Examine the fabric of your face cloth and substrate of your moisture barrier for physical damage. Look for rips, tears, cuts, and abrasions, as well as damaged or missing hardware. Check for thermal damage, such as charring, burn holes, melting, or discoloration. Give extra attention to locations that correspond with damage discovered on the outer shell. If you find any, note it on the inspection form. Discoloration, significant changes in material texture, and loss of material strength can be signs of UV, heat, or chemical degradation. If you discover any damage on the face cloth of your thermal liner or on the substrate of the moisture barrier, document it on the inspection form and mark it for either additional testing or repair. Coats manufactured to meet the latest edition of the NFPA 1971 standards are equipped with a drag rescue device or DRD. During an advanced inspection, you need to remove the DRD from the coat and examine it. Look for soiling, contamination, and physical damage such as cuts, tears, punctures, cracking or splitting. Check for thermal damage such as charring, burn holes, melting, or discoloration. If the DRD is fit for duty, reinstall it according to manufacturer's instructions. Make sure all attachments are functional and the webbing has no twists. If the advanced inspection was satisfactory, reassemble the garment and return it to service. If it needs repair or additional testing, send it either to a verified ISP or the manufacturer. A complete liner inspection needs to be performed annually. To conduct a complete liner inspection, you must open the liner system to expose all layers for visual examination. Examine the inside of the thermal liner for thin spots, damage of material, compression, or migration of fibers. Run your hand across the internal surface of the thermal liner. If you feel thin areas or ridges, it could be an indication of breakdown, damage, compression, or migration of fibers. Special attention should be given to known compression areas such as the shoulder, elbow, and knee. Inspect the film side of the moisture barrier by running your hands across the surface. If you feel thin areas or ridges, it could be a sign of damage. Note it on your inspection form. Check all seams and make sure the tape is secure. Also, look for any holes, discoloration, rough spots, cracking or tears that could indicate damage or deterioration and leakage. A complete liner inspection also requires a water penetration test be performed on the moisture barrier. This test requires special hydrostatic test equipment. Through this apparatus or similar device, an area of the moisture barrier is isolated with a clamp to provide a watertight seal. Water is pressurized to 1 psi on the film side of the moisture barrier. After 15 seconds with the water pressure still applied, check the substrate to see if water is penetrating. When testing areas with seams, position the seams in the center of the isolated area, dividing it in half. 
you need to test the broadest parts of the shoulders, back waist area of the coat and the knees, crotch area, and seat area of the pants. If potential damage was detected through visual inspections of your turnout components, test the corresponding areas of the moisture barrier. If water penetrates through the film and to the substrate on any area of the moisture barrier, note the location on your inspection form. The garment needs to be sent to the manufacturer or a verified ISP for repair. If the moisture barrier shows no leakage on any of the testing, then restitch the open seam. If the liner system has an inspection opening, return it to its original configuration, or if it's a separable liner system, reattach the components of the system. After washing, hang DRDs and suspenders to air dry away from direct or indirect sunlight, fluorescent light, or sharp objects. Make sure there is good cross-ventilation. All advanced cleaning must be documented and kept on file by the fire department. For additional information, contact Lion Total Care.